another Monday, another three scary games. Today we got some real treats in for you. I know usually I start with like a quote or something funny, or some like scene from a movie. Uh, yeah, I'm out of those. <laughs> So that was, we'll say that was season one of three scary games. Season two, I still don't know what I'm gonna do, but this is the intro of it. So hi. The first game that I found is on itch.io. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's called The Intrepid Explorer. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Look at me. Don't I look fine? This one's called The Intrepid Explorer. I'm not crying because the, the music's all sad. Oh. <laughs> This one looks scary because it's underwater. You gotta dive. It's like the 1800s, you dive underwater. Looks crazy. Let's read the description. In the late 1700s, the intrepid explorer set sail from the coast of Africa. On board was a mysterious wooden idol, intricately carved and rumored to be cursed. The crew became increasingly paranoid, their behavior turning more and more erratic as they were driven mad by the cursed object. Despite their best efforts, the ship eventually met its demise, sinking to the bottom of the ocean for unknown reasons. But even in death, the spirit of the crew remained trapped on board, guarding the sunken vessel and its cursed idol for centuries. Now, after all these years, the ship has been discovered and the ancient wooden idol has been unearthed. Who knows what dangers lie in store for those brave enough to venture into the depths and uncover the secrets of the cursed, intrepid explorer? There wasn't that big of a description on the site, so I thought this was better. It, 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 rarely do we get stories right in the game. But either way, that sounds cool. I'm ready to dive, see what happens, and see if we meet our demise. I wonder if this one's actually scary because underwater things actually scare me. Either way, let's get right into the game. All right, off oh. with you then. But be careful down there. Okay. No matter of ghastly creatures lurk in the depths below. Mm -hmm. And don't you come back empty on you expect me to carry that thing with my own actual hands? Got a lot of faith in this man. He better be a bodybuilder. <laughs> he just ripped out the suit, but the helmet's on. <laughs> be my favorite bodybuilding underwater diver. Is that it? I, this is not how I expected the game, by the way. It looked a lot different in the... Oh. No, I don't like that. We're not even that far down! <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, please tell me you're just chilling. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ, what happened? I thought, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on the damn lamp, what do you mean? You're acting like I'm supposed to know what's good, is that Jesus? Okay, I guess follow the, the lights. I'm not really sure what to do, but seriously, the this is terrifying, to be honest. The... The pictures look so different. I'm guessing I have to follow the light, but that area's making me curious, you know? That's fine. That's fine. We're just gonna hear a bunch of noises, and I won't know where it's coming from because I'm gonna keep my eyes on the big deadly fish. That's okay with me. Where's the big dead? There it is. <laughs> like I said, eyes on the big deadly fish. Need to know where it's coming from when it's trying to kill. That's a, that's a really big fish, but I don't know if it's gonna be able to take on my bodybuilding physique. You know, I got I got some muscles. Why? What does that even mean? What are you? Oh. Oh. No, yeah, that's that's something. Uh, I stayed out of the way. I guess. How do I know where to go now? Oh Jesus, man. Don't touch me! I'm sterile. I'm gonna go this way. Maybe the light keeps you away. I'm not really sure. You're making a lot of bone cracking noises though. I made it. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say that I made it. I win. Is this the way that I came from? I don't actually know and I feel like it is. Please don't be the way that I came from. Oh, there's the, there's a ship! And what was that last fish by the way? <laughs> That didn't seem like a fish, okay? I'm no what it's marine biologist. I was gonna say zoologist, but I was like, I don't think I don't think that's correct. But marine biologist sounds a little bit more on point. Hold on, my camera's like too high. I don't know what's going on. I look weird. And I can scoot in a bit more. I don't know. I felt like I was so far back. I, weird things. I don't know. 
it was all in my mind, and then I kept looking at the camera, and I was like, I'm not really paying attention to the game. I'm paying attention to how weird I look. Oh, I do. Oh. I had a flashlight this whole time. Hello. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's that's a dead person. But if I've seen them on TV, they look a lot like that. That's a lot of dead people. That's actually a lot of dead people. You all stayed on the boat, too. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say. There's some singing in my ears. I'm not really sure what it is. Might be a siren trying to lure me. Whoa, dude, you stayed in... I guess hammocks do work. They keep you snug. That's pretty impressive. Oh, there's the ancient idol. But they're supposed to be guarding, right? I have the treasure. It's time to return to my ship. Not, yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Can you go through things? I have a feeling that they could go through things. Goodbye. Yeah, no, I hear you. Please don't go through the cabin, though. That would be unfortunate if you could just move through it. Is it just that one guy? I thought that there were multiple spirits here. Only one guy gets haunted. I feel like that guy would get haunted, you know? Goodbye. Can you pull me? The, usually these things have, like, the tops that they just pull you up. No, mine doesn't have that. Uh-oh. It got so silent. Why did it get so silent? I don't like that. Oh. Can, uh... Can you go a bit faster? Do I, is there a run button? I don't think there's a run button. Those are piranhas I can... Well... Jump! Oh. Well, uh, I'm gonna go this way. Can I go around? <laughs> Jesus Christ! That was loud. The diver's last breath escaped their lips as they disappeared into the dark depths of the ocean. Lost for... I was reading that, so... That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's whatever. I didn't need to read that. There, I'm a bit brighter. Now I look a bit better. Next game! This next game is called Mannequins. When a writer runs out of ideas. Oh wait, let's, is that weird to do that? I haven't even downloaded it yet. What am I talking about? <laughs> this one looked really creepy. A lot of reviews were saying that it's actually a creepy mannequin horror game. So I really wanted to try it out. It looked cool. So I thought, let's give it a chance. Either way, to get prepared for the game, let's go read the description. When a writer runs out of ideas for their next horror book, what could sparkle um, inspiration? I don't know, what could sparkle inspiration? That's a lot of inspiration. Visiting an abandoned building? It could be, depending on what lies inside. Okay, well, all right, that's true. And that was it. <laughs> okay, back into the game. I guess let's do new game. Male, female, I am a male. And I am on, I, mm? <laughs> that doesn't look like the correct keys to me, but I'll say keyboard. There we go, English keyboard. It was a dark Those night are correct keys, when the young girl lost herself in the forest, stopped by a serial killer. Oh. Nah, not very enthralling. All right. Oh, he's Officer trying Smith to write. was mm -hmm. looking for his lost sister. And Searching. the track led him to an old lane that had, uh, even worse. Terrible. Come on, find something. Something! INSPIRATION! All the lights in the amusement park were off, oh. and the young security agent was not in safety. Still that. Ooh, yeah, kind of meant... What was that? <laughs> Turn on? Is that what that says? <laughs> was that a flashlight? That is the weirdest looking flashlight. I guess they actually have them wherever this person's mm, from. This though. May it be looks weird, to find what I need for the novel. Looks like a vacuum. I actually like the art style, though. It's very different. Oh. Mannequins. Oh, it just puts you right in. Oh, it is a bit laggy. The, oh, both keys are flashlight on. A story eh. about a secretary staying there at work. And, as she understands that she's not alone, she wants to call the police, but it is too late to realize that 
Mm, not great. It could be better. Could be better. I didn't want to say anything, but yeah, that could be better. It was getting kind of weird towards the she could call the police, but realized it's too late. A mannequin's factory. That could be a good start. Yeah, very good start. Looks very nice. Very nice place. Excuse me. Um. Yep. I'm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> You could damage. fit through that. I think he could fit through that. Just saying. The, I could fit through that. There is no way I could either hop that or go under. There's no way. There's no way I don't fit through that enemy. That's me. I'm the enemy. So you all better be afraid. I need the key. It is a bit laggy. But that's okay. I mean... It's not like impeding the game. Oh, the key was on your chest. Did I just guessed. What the fuck? <laughs> your only reaction? What the hell? The flashlight stops it? How would you assume that? How would you See? It's not coming after me now. So how would I assume that the flashlight stops it when it doesn't come after me after that? Jesus, man. Oh my god! Sorry, thought oh just it just slaps me. I've taken a slap or two, I won't lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it stop them for good? It seems like it stops them for good. Right? No. It does not stop them for good. It definitely does not stop them for good. <laughs> See if you can fit through this, you could have fit through the last area, man! What Jeez. was that? Well, that was a tiny one. Oh, More agile. Stop. Just by their tiny feet. Can I... I don't get a recharge now? No. Fuck, 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 fuck. Let's keep the swearing down. They're just mannequins. They just hit you and then you respawn. You don't. You have, like, nothing to worry about. Trust me. Oh, my God. <laughs> that arm bend, dude. Okay. Dude. You gotta calm down. You're freaking out too much. What is that? Okay, well, yes, exactly. He's watching. Who? Who's watching? Who he? Ah, let go of me. Well, thank you for letting go, I guess. It was that easy. That's, you know, the mannequins even no consent. Just saying for people out there. Okay, like, oh, it's a lot of arms. Don't tell me all the arms are alive, though. I get my own mannequin arm? This game's awesome. I, I don't get it. How do they work? Well, they're mannequin arms. I don't know, dude. Was that? What? I, um, where? Um, um. I, I don't get it. How do they work? Am I supposed to take that, or is that just like a cutscene to ask how they work? I don't think I have to take it. Oh. Okay, well that one literally just went into the light. Hi. You gonna try and come from behind me? Hi! Yep. Goodbye. I'm just gonna pass on through, thank you. Easy money. Is there another one of you? Any one of you? Oh my god. And what one of you are coming to life? That's all I gotta ask. None? Oh. <laughs> well, I guess it's none then. I thought it was going to be like a lot of you, but it wasn't. If I could fit under that, dude. I'm just saying, man. I'm being corn swaddled or whatever it is. Horn swaddled, corn bobbled, hobbledy dude. I'm being taken for a fool is what I mean. Oh. Just run. Just, just, a, just run. Just run. If you get in a corner, they can't all stop you, right? Never mind. Excuse me. Sorry. This is my stop. Oh. There was an arm back there that I could add to your collection. I guess not. Didn't like my offer. Wait, was that this just the store? An interesting ID. Thank you. Thank you. It is. Thanks you. First <laughs> but I think I finally found the inspiration to finish the novel. Could you write the next chapter and bring it for the next week? 
Of course. We release chapter I'm by chapter. Start working on it right this evening. I don't think that's how books work. <laughs> Book DLC. How fucking crazy would that be? <laughs> I put out the first chapter, wait till next week when the second chapter is out, we'll add it to your book that you bought. Physical copy. You missed some. I missed all of them. We'll try again. What was I supposed to find? I didn't even know that there were hidden things. Alright, that was a pretty decent game. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this one. On to the next game. All right, our last game for today is called Driving Home. This one I remember seeing like a few weeks back, but I was like, it's short, so I kind of want to save it for a three scary game, so here we are. Driving Home is a short indie horror game where you drive home after work, working late, and you realize you forgot to refuel your car. You're stranded on a lonely road inside a big dark forest. Unfortunately, your cell phone isn't working, so you need to find someone to help you. The screenshots and like the visuals of this one on the website look really good. Link as always will be in the description. So I really wanted to give this one a shot. I wanted to try it, see how scary it was for myself, especially about driving. Like I remember a while back there was that game where you're you're in the car and there was the person of the painting. What was that game called? That was like a super early alpha build. Tokyo drip oh man, right I kind of want to search right that one again right and see there. if there's been any progress right made on it. But for now, let's get into the game Driving Home. It was a Thursday, November 16th. I was working late. I drove home. Whoa. Is anyone else getting nauseous? I sort of am. <laughs> How fast am I going? Oh, I could speed up. <laughs> I was like, is this my normal driving speed? I guess 35 is like the max. This is not 35, is this? Wow. It's really fast. Well, I guess that's 40. That's about 40. Doesn't look like it, but that's about 40. My gas looks kind of... Oh, no, I'm pretty close to empty. I think that's the red line, right? Yeah, I mean, it, uh, we still got like 20, 40 miles. I don't know. That doesn't look as empty as I probably think it would be. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Can't complain about the music. Although it, honestly, this would put me to sleep, I think. <laughs> this kind of music. This is not keep you awake type music. This is kind of like, I'm at a good high type music. Oh. But curvy road. Please, let me make it beyond the curvy road. And usually when the gas light comes on, that means that you still have like 10 miles, I think, right? You still have a little ways to go before your car shuts down. Except not us. Dude, it didn't even give me the coast. It was like, nah, you don't, we're gonna slam on the brakes in this car for you. Press E to exit the car. I was pressing E, but it didn't let me until the prompt came up. I get it. I have to use flashlight. I probably shouldn't leave the lights on, too. Then I'm coming back to a dead battery. I tried using my phone, but I didn't get any signal. Why don't I just walk along the road? You never know. I decided to follow the road until I find a gas station or something. Well, good. That's what I was going to do. Probably should have pulled off a bit more. I'm just literally riding the road. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Sorry for any cars coming up. Did I leave my keys in there too? Not the smartest driver. I should just be pushing the car. Uh, are there rocks being... It looks like rocks are being pelted at my car. That's not that steep. There should be no rocks flying from that. Usually the cliff is like right next to the road if it says like landslide or rocks or anything. Hello. Perfect. I saw a house. I decided to go there and ask for help. Uh, that's what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. Hello? Anyone home? I like your one lamp outside. You have a nice car. Could I use it? I knocked on the door, but no one answered. Why? Okay. Does that mean that I keep walking? What am I supposed to do about this? Look inside. It's a bedroom with no one in it. So. Hello? Hello? Anyone here? Oh, I saw a back door which is open. Really weird. Very weird. No one's in the bathtub. Always have to make sure. Thought maybe I could find a telephone and call for help. 
that sounded like the front door. It was not. I can't even open the front door. Okay. Garage was locked. I needed to find the key. Of course I did. This is where the noise came from. Someone's in the closet, aren't they? No. I found the key. Where's that noise coming? The attic? Someone in the attic? Oh, Jesus, man. Okay, well, my heart sank after I opened the garage door. Why? That's not that bad. Should I get out? Oh, hey, gas. <laughs> it took the fuel tank and decided to leave as fast as possible. I probably should go out the front door. That way people see me. No. We're good. We're good. I'm running. <laughs> Start running my car like a madman. That's not like a madman. This is like a madman. I can feel something falling. me. God, please. So what? Once I get to the safety of my car, I'll refuel it, then I'll drive away. God, I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't even breathing during that. Whew. Gotta calm myself down. And scene. I'm gonna pop my tires. My car's still going. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Press E to refuel. Oh, that sounds like refueling. Ooh, that sounded very nice. Is someone in my back seat? Is someone in my back seat? I'm watching that rearview mirror like a hawk. Feel like someone's about to be in my back seat. What is that? I see something down there. I saw something down there, dude. We passed it. But I'm still looking in that rearview mirror. I'm not. If there's something on the road, I'm not gonna see it. So I'm paying attention to the rearview mirror. I don't trust it whatsoever. It's good still. It's good. Did I make it? Is it over? We got the gas. Why do I have to keep going? Yep, nope. I'm good. Go. What is that? What is that? Looks like something from I'm on Observation Duty. <laughs> I won't lie. That looks like something from I'm on Observation Duty right there. That was driving home. I got killed by an adult baby. All right. <laughs> I don't I don't argue with the facts. That's just what happened. I'll admit a short return to three scary games, but a return nonetheless. I hope you all enjoyed this game. Three scary games. These three games that were scary. And I will see you next Monday, maybe. <laughs> if I can think of an intro for three scary games. Mine's blank right now. That's all I gotta say. I Nothing up there. You can look yourself, but there's not a lot. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you have any comment. And I will respond. Thank you so much for watching. Oh good. Bye. My name is Jerry Joe.